everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another how to build video. In this video, I'm showing you how to build a soda fountain inside of Minecraft. Now, this does not work, it's an aesthetic build. I probably could make a working one, but it would most likely be way bigger than this. And if you've been around my channel for a long time, you know I like to keep everything aesthetically appeasing, meaning I want it to be as small as it would be in real life now just also giving a heads up this does use five armor stands i do i build everything on console i do everything on console and on console there's only a 16 armor stand limit so this does use five armor stands and even though it looks really small guys it's a little tedious to build but i think i did a fantastic job on this soda machine i think it looks pretty amazing the only thing i don't like about it is the swaying banner i wish you could stop the banners from swaying but i think it gives it a lot more character adding in the color so that one could be like sprite this one could be pepsi and this one could be coca-cola or dr pepper pretty much whatever you'll find inside of a soda fountain so let's go ahead and start building this thing guys all right guys so basically what you want to do when you start off by building this soda fountain is find a wall where you want to place it down so hopefully you're adding this to a fast food place maybe you want to add it to a restaurant or maybe you just want to put a soda fountain inside of your house so right here is the wall where i'm going to be putting down my soda fountain now like i said this does use five armor stands so go ahead and take out your armor stands we're also going to need a piston a power source for that piston so i'm going to be using a redstone block we're also going to need a wither skeleton skull. And we're also going to need some soul sand. So those are going to pretty much be the items we're going to need just for now. And you know what? Let's go ahead and just take out a block. Any block will do. Let's go ahead and just use cobblestone. So that's going to be our starting off items. So we already found the wall where we want our soda fountain to go. So right here is where I want my soda fountain to go. So I'm going to go ahead and break this wall because I'm just going to get in my way. <laughs> so right here is where my soda fountain is going to be going. So what we're going to do is dig down two blocks. One, two. And then place in a piece of soul sand right down there. We no longer need our soul sand. Now, remember, this is where the soda fountain's going. And right back there is where the wall is. So right here is where our wall's going. So what we're going to do is come over here to this side, break the block next to the soul sand, and place an armor stand facing away from the soul sand like that with a wither skeleton skull on top of it. Next up, place a piston right next to it and send power to it. Boop, and it will push it over to the side. Break the piston. And now come over here to this side. You can leave the redstone block there. And we're going to place another piston right here. And it's going to push it into that soul sand block. So we're going to place another piston right here. And it'll push it into the soul sand block. So boop. And as you can see, it'll push it right into the soul sand block. Next up, we're going to place in another armor stand yet again. So come back here. Place in an armor stand once again. We can break this. We're actually going to need it still. Place in yet again another wither skeleton skull. And now we're going to place a piston on this side instead. Pushing it to the left hand side. Break the piston come right behind it and place a piston on this side as well pushing it right into the soul sand block and that's going to be the front of it and that's basically going to be the collection tray this is just in case you know some soda uh, spills over in the cup it will go into this little drain area if you've seen a, a soda fountain hopefully you know what that is but it's pretty much this little area right here as you can see it kind of uh, goes down just a tiny tiny bit that will just collect the soda in case it overflows inside of the cup next up what we're going to do is now place a block right above our armor stands any block will do really doesn't matter and then place in a piston facing downwards towards that block like so. We can go ahead and break our redstone block over there. It's not needed. And then send power to the piston. So boop like that. Break the block. Place in another block right here. And then send power to it once again just like that. Now make sure you break this block right here. But do not break the armor stands. Or you're going to have to place them back in. And no one wants to do that. So make sure you just break the block like that. And now everything is in place perfectly. Next up, we're gonna create the front hand panel of our soda fountain. So for this, all you need is a pressure plate of any color, it really doesn't matter. You can use stone, wooden, iron, gold, whatever one you wanna use. I'm just gonna be using a stone pressure plate. And we are also going to need a painting. So place in your stone pressure plate right in front of those armor stands like this. And then we're gonna have to place a painting right off the corner of this right here it's really hard to see it. it's really tedious but make sure you are just facing this the pressure plate and then place it in as you can see that will be the front hand side of our soda machine this might be the most tedious thing inside the whole build because you have to like look right at the side of that stone pressure plate and then add in the painting but it gives that little divot see how it kind of looks like a little divot right here so it looks like a little collection bay for your soda in case you overfill it Next up, we're going to add in those three little panels right off the front. This is going to be the most annoying part because you have to get the right armor stands if you're doing it on console. But it's going to be these three armor stands right here. And it could be pretty tedious just because you have to get the straightest armor stand that you could possibly get. So we're going to come up two blocks above this. So actually three. One, two, three. And then come over a block like that. Leave that block there. And you know what? Let's go ahead and just change the block to the side to a redstone block here. 
and a redstone block just like that and you'll see why we're going to be doing this but we're going to take out our armor stands now and off to the side make sure you're facing off the side of your soda fountain right here we're going to place in an armor stand and try to get the straightest one possible as you can see this one's going to the side we don't want that so you're gonna have to keep placing them in until you can get the straightest one possible if you don't mind uh you know having it a little bit off then you're absolutely fine but this is terrible see <laughs> see i was going really to the side that one is completely horrible we want one as straight as possible so i might have to skip through the video because like i said this is going to definitely be the most tedious part just simply because it, it there's like a like 15 different ones you could possibly get see this one's not too bad this one's not that bad but there's an even better one this so i'm gonna go ahead and just skip ahead until i get the other one but if you get one like this this one isn't that bad as well so all right so i actually got one that i like a lot now it's a little bit off but as you can see you could barely see the legs of the armor sand and that's kind of what we want so now what we're going to do is pretty much pick any one of these sides it really doesn't matter just place a block up on top of the redstone block and then place a piston on this side facing towards it and it will push it into the block next up go ahead and just break this block right here and let it fall into place and you know what actually before we move on with these armor stands let's go ahead and place in our banner first so just leave everything up here make sure you just leave everything right here just like that and since we have this one in the place we no longer have to do it but let's go ahead and do our banner first because if we put in the armor stands it's actually going to be a little more tedious to get that banner in so what I want you to do is go ahead and take out a white banner. And we're also going to need a handful of lapis lazuli. We're also going to need a handful of lime dye and a handful of rose red. Now you can use any three colors that you want. You don't have to use these three. I just like it because it's Pepsi, Sprite, and Coke. And that's what it reminds me of. But you can use any colors that you would like to. Now, if you're doing this on console as well, just follow along console. And all everything should be in the crafting table so you can see how this banner is made anyway. So we're going to go and go inside our crafting table. And then if you're on console, just go down to the banner. Go over to select the banner and press uh, Y or uh, triangle, whatever console you're on. And now we're going to go ahead and move over by pressing RB once. And we're going to go over here to this one right here, the black per pal or whatever it's called. But as you can see, there is the custom right there at the bottom left-hand corner. So if you are doing it on PC, you can see exactly how you do the uh, banner at the bottom left-hand corner. But we're going to go ahead and pick up any one of these colors. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead and do, or I guess red. Red's fine. And then what we're going to do is just add that by pressing Y. And then just go over one. And now we're going to use a different color on this side. So let's go ahead and use, well, I guess green. We added in the green. And as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see how you could do it on PC. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and press LB over once. And we're going to move over here to this middle one. And as you can see there at the bottom left-hand corner, that's how you craft it. And now we're going to go over to our blue and fill in the rest with blue. So go all the way up until you find that blue. And now just press Y a bunch of times or, or triangle if you're on PS4 or PS3. And just add in as much as possible until you can no longer add in any more. And then go ahead and just create your banner. And that's the banner we created right here. Boop. So now we have, uh, let's say, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and Sprite just like that. So now let's go ahead and add in our banner. So you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and remove this block right here in the middle. We're actually going to need the spacing. We're going to go ahead and add in our banner by looking right here at that cobblestone block and adding in our banner. So boop, like that. And as you can see, our banner is now in place. Now we can go ahead and add in the rest of those armor stands. So let's go ahead and get rid of all this. And let's go ahead and take out our armor stands, our pistons, and our blocks once again. So like I said, we have to get the straightest armor stand as possible. So do it again. Well, yet again, just come up here and try to get the straightest one as possible. Like this one isn't too bad. Uh, I just, I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm i a little OCD with certain things. So I want it to be uh, as perfect as possible. Uh, that one's, no, nah, I don't like it. <laughs> Even that one wasn't that bad. You know what? I'm just going to do it. It's just going to take forever if I don't. But the other one is just, you want it as straight as possible. So now instead of putting the block on this side, we're going to put it on this side. Place our piston over here, push it into place, then break the block below it and let it fall into place. And now we have to do it one more time, but we no longer need our pistons. All we need to do is just break the block and let it fall into place. So place in your armor stand yet again and try to get the straightest one as possible. Eh, that one's not that bad, but you know, I'm not going to take forever. So this one, <laughs> I'm just going to go like that. That one's fine. And then break it and let it fall into place. So as you can see, you can see how they're, yeah, oh man, I don't like that. But try to just try to get the straightest one. Try to get this one right here that we got the first time. It just looks absolutely the best so now what we're going to do is place a block right behind it like that place a piston right on top of our pressure plate like boop by placing it in like that there we go and then send power to the piston so bloop like that and it'll push them all into place and that looks a little bit off but what can you do like i said try to get the straightest one as possible it will look a ton ton better next up we're going to go in and take out a staircase coloring of your choice i'm going to be using quartz stairs but you can use any color that you really want to i'm going to place one right above it upside down just like that then we're going to take out a piston place a piston facing downwards into it and then go ahead and just send power to it and it will push everything into place and guys there you have it there is the entire fountain completely done that's it so now all we have to do is just add in a countertop place in our wall again so i'm going to take out blue for my wall and let's add in a light gray countertop so boop boop there's the countertop and then our wall is going to be right behind our countertop so boop 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 boop, boop, boop. and there you guys have it that's how you build a soda fountain inside of minecraft 
And then last but not least, just take out an iron trap door and place it right above it. And that will give it a little bit more depth for your soda fountain. But there you guys have it. That's how you build a soda fountain inside of Minecraft. And like I said, guys, try to get it as close as possible. As you can see, these armor stands, when they're straighter, they just look a ton better. So here's the one that I built first. And over here is the one that I just built for you guys. And as you can see, it looks a lot better over here than it does over there. But there you guys have it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.